All right, take two, everyone. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to the unboxing of Sam's Beadbox, June 2023, Below the Waves. I'm Sam of Sam's Bead Shop. This is Rachel of Sam's Beadbox. And we are the curators of the monthly subscription box, Sam's Beadbox, which is part of Sam's Bead Shop. Sorry about the technical difficulties. We ha I had to actually turn my microphone on. <laughs> Um, but now it should be fine, and yes. now folks can hear me. Yeah, every month we curate a brand new mystery box of beads for you to enjoy, a curated selection of Czech glass, gemstones, and high-quality metals to help inspire your creativity. Absolutely. So, Rachel was saying our theme this month is called Below the Waves, and it's a very exciting theme to bring us into summer. So, Summer's just a few days away. Oh, that's great. It was like one week. Yeah. It's like less than a week. That's wild. Five days <laughs> till the solstice. Wow. Yeah. It's the longest, longest days of the year right now. Plenty of time for beading. It's, yeah. <laughs> you, you do. I feel like snatch light is really nice for beading. Mm -hmm. Especially you have your space that's near a window. Like it makes such a difference. Oh, and let the light reflect all these off all these pretty beads. Yeah. yeah. Especially the extra sparkle. This, this month was all about like, how do we bring a core, the magic of a coral reef to life? So like, so we really use all like specialty finishes. What else? When... Multi-color finishes, lots of luster and shine. Some cool stuff. Yeah. I wanted to read you a little bit from the insert. We always include the insert because there's always a little story behind each box. We, it helps us kind of as we make a whole different concept every month. This is, we've done this 20 plus times now. Um, it's really nice to um, be able to give a, have a story with it to share. Yeah. So. This is a little story from our family's trip to Australia that inspired this box. We went many years ago at this point. Um, below the waves, over a decade ago, my family visited the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. We stayed on Heron Island. That was wild. There were so many birds, which was surrounded by astonishingly clear waters and a vibrant coral reef. I remember feeling shocked when a turtle swam right past me when snorkeling on the first day. It was something out of a Pixar movie, which is just down the street. The stu Pixar the Studios. Pixar Studios. The coral reefs are not that street. <laughs> Stingrays were also common in the area, particularly during high tide in the morning. Rachel here, who was much braver than I, would willingly and excitedly wake up early to swim alongside them. I was content to stay on shore when they were nearby. Oh, you missed out. My mom and I would go out at like 6.30, 7 a.m. and like just swim just a couple feet away from a whole pack of stingrays. They were gorgeous creatures nope nope <laughs> me and shara happily on our beach chairs oh, i love australia uh the entire reef was like a living canvas amazingly rich with marine life um sure getting to snorkel around heron island was an experience that sam and i will never forget for our june theme we are taking a peek below the waves with a palette inspired by coral reefs inside you'll find bright hues specialty mixed glass and multi-tone finishes that paint a shimmering underwater landscape. Some of Sam's personal <laughs> favorites, and mine too, maybe. We'll see, I have to choose my favorites, uh, include the flashy Labradorite, two-tone melon drops, and a collection of Greek sea-themed metals. I hope you'll share what you make in Gem Chat, that's our Facebook group, with the hashtag Sam's Beadbox June 2023. We can't wait to see what you make. Shall right, we dig in? Let's dig in the wave crashes over as we Switch the camera around. Create our, this is our canvas that we will start painting. Let's yeah. see, I'm, it's showing a little bit of, do um, you want to adjust the camera? Oh yeah, that's, hmm. you might have... yeah, you get started, I'll fix it. Okay, you might just have to move where it is in the thing. All right, so the first feed in the box. So we are going to be going through the, what we call our insert, our item list. Um, we have everything in the box and this is really helpful. It's also, it has all the stranded items, so you know, all the details about them, as well as what the retail price is for every bead. So um, when you buy these, these are the prices you're going to see when you buy the extras in our shop. So we have a retail value of $89 for this box, but as a, as a subscriber, it's $49 plus shipping. Yeah. Do you well, want us to also have our faces here? Would that be Yeah, okay. I love that idea. Give me a second. And then, of course, I put like the best item first. <laughs> oh, let's so start. It's number one. Alrighty, so as we start to explore this coral reef, where it's just every color 
is is comes from natural sources. That's what's, mm -hmm. so it's amazing how vibrant a coral reef is. So you'll see as we start to build our coral reef, we have some special shine to, to accomplish that. So this is the first time we've ever been able to include high flash labradorite. I know every single strand had flash. So this is this is the perks of Tucson. We I met this yeah. cutter in Tucson in February, mm -hmm. and we we kind of hit it off. I I spent um, a semi fortune in February with him, and then he was happily happy to work with us after that. <laughs> and I just told him, I can you make us hundreds of strands um, of labs for the bead box as we create this theme? So look at the flash of these. Every bead is flash. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful natural labradorite. A three and a half inch strand plus the tassels. So that shine is your labrador essence and it's just something to be treasured. So yeah. Every, yeah, you get two little free tassels. I bet some people are gonna make with their tassels. <laughs> yeah, why not? Don't don't just cut those off. Be careful. Um next up would be some check glass rounds in ocean glow. I'm gonna show those off. They are an eight millimeter bead and a 16 piece strand. So this is the one of our first multi-tone beads. So you can see it's a crystal glass, but the coating adds these green and blue and teal colors to it. Oh, I love, yeah. I love, I love any multi-tone glass. Mm -hmm. So you're going to hear me say that a lot today. Yeah. These are so cool. The fact that they can get multiple colors on that, like, is just perfect to me. Mm -hmm. I, we're gonna start, this whole, this whole thing's gonna be covered in, in color. So yeah, the, you know, there is the blues, the water colors, but there's also bright colors. That's what I remember about snorkeling in the Everything goes into reef. the next thing. So yeah. this pink goes into our melon drops, which is pink and purple two-tone melon drops. Yeah, what the size fuchsia and the purple, eight by 13 millimeters, and it is an eight-piece strand of check glass melon drops. I just think Shara might like these. <laughs> there's a little purple in there. What do you guys think of this finish? This We've never gone to do this multi-tone finishes in the bead box. Yeah. And we're kind this of trying new. to figure out every color that's possible in it because <laughs> I need more of this in my life. Yeah. So yeah, I think almost all of, maybe almost all or maybe all of the um two-tone stuff is, is the stuff we got custom made for the box this month because we just thought it was really special. And then we actually did that <laughs> same two-tone coating on a different bead. Oh yeah, which we're it's obsessed. nice to have some beads that match, I think, in terms of their colors. That was the feedback we got early on in the box, folks. They wanted matching beads mm -hmm. so we try to mix that in yeah so these are eight millimeter uh fire polish fasted rounds it's a 16 piece strand these are amazing yeah i'm obsessed with this, these finishes <laughs> all right join the family already time for the next, next stone gen. well because they're both stranded so we're, we're starting all right with so them. we got the labs oh all three of them are first so, <laughs> so all we got the, i got the labs first like rachel was like can you find labs we need labs in yeah. the box so we secured the labs and then we were trying to figure out other stones and they offer, they had a whole bunch of these strawberry quartz that they had literally just cut. Like they literally had just came off manufacturing line. And I asked if they could make us custom strands for the box. So we ended up getting 12 piece strands, I believe here. Yeah. And they're really pretty nice uniform in size, just makes them a little easier to use. I mm -hmm. personally adore heart brios. And strawberry quartz is such a wonderful stone. I just love the softness of that pink color. Yeah, it's a really nice pink tone. It's a little hard to show pink on my camera, but hopefully you guys can appreciate those in person more. Yeah. A little just sparkle right there. There's lots of sparkle. You'll see keep more and more sparkles as you go. <laughs> so this is what we're considering our last gem selection. It's made by gemstone cutters, this sort of item. This one's not made in the Czech Republic. It is called mermaid glass. It's called mermaid quartz. We call it mermaid, quote unquote, quartz glass. And we custom designed this strand. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, because we couldn't pick a color and it didn't really. We could not pick a color. And like, just one of them didn't make sense. So, so yeah, we were really in a custom mix. Of, that our, custom of our favorite pattern. colors. Yeah. You'll see these are the main colors of the box mm -hmm. is this pinky into purple, some mix of different like darker and lighter blues. Yep. Kind of imagining the different parts of the sea like in heron island you could see the clear waters were like a light blue reflecting the sky but then there was like this water line that was formed i think by some sort of land drop off or whatnot or, yeah. like when it gets deeper then it's like these the dark blue ocean yeah. waters you imagine and then we have the green like representing the seaweed and the that kind of that green life underwater as well so look at this whole little collection over here yeah, just we have one more item on a strand we went for one more 
two-tone here. Yeah, this is our orange coral crystal mix. I See love... that kind of like corally orange with that yellow. These yeah. are these are yeah. have such a nice tropical feeling as well to mm -hmm. me. Tropical and, and like there was kind of a tropical feel to Heron Island. Yeah. It was the whole alley was covered in birds, uh, covered in trees, and every tree was filled with birds' nests. Like it was loud on the yeah, island. Yeah, I remember what happened when we went on a walk once. My hat got a little uh Oh thank gosh, got, that wasn't got me. Met I would have hated that. <laughs> Luckily I had a hat on. That's like a fear of mine. <laughs> That's a fear. It's good luck. It, it is. <laughs> That's what people say. You know what? They gotta, the well, they gotta rectify that awful situation, I guess, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah it was this heron island is this tiny island it takes about half an hour to walk around the whole thing yeah. but they have half of it is a research um institute and then the other half is you know for folks to come and visit and stay oh, i remember the research side yeah and also the research side had a different time zone it was a half what? an hour different time zone, like official time on zone the same island? on this tiny island you could walk on the island in half an hour yeah but it, there were two time zones i don't know so yeah, we did this <laughs> the same. We got all our lights on. Yeah, I just we're just I'm getting a little bit of so a shadow, shadow today. today. There's light over here. Why is there? <laughs> I think the camera is probably is. I think the camera light. Okay, that was a little higher. Oh, that's already so much better. Okay. The orange is so much richer. Okay. All right, much better. All right. So, <laughs> well, almost. When I do that, whatever. <laughs> so this is that same uh, orange coral crystal mix um, on the Art Deco ovals, which, you know, they've got that movement. We were talking about water fountains last month. We we got the moving water um, and the, you know, it's it's our coral. It's our coral reef. So we are fighting the light today. Like, what the heck? There's <laughs> Jesse when you need him. Oh, uh, my goodness. It's like, like only I've in the light... bottom right corner. Yeah, can I just, well, let me just move. If that fixes that, that's so weird. But I feel like the light, whatever. I think it's the camera, so it doesn't so matter strange. where you move it. Um, next up, ooh, we did a little collection of some different check glass. Yeah, brought this in one, some of our deeper blues. Yeah, this one's like there's three very distinct items. Here. <laughs> yeah, we just we decided to put them all together. So we've got it. Kind of became a like, it worked as a collection we thought. Uh, yeah, we started with some of these sapphire glasses. And then, really rich, deep blue. And then gave you two different pairs. We we we've kind of gone into adding more pairs into the box mm -hmm. just to so like easy, quick earrings. Yeah. Um, like right away, you, you can take your box, make some earrings, and if it adds more value to think how you can use the box. So you got ten millimeter fire polish, and you got some of your ammonite spiral coins, mm -hmm. as well as some of those spiral pyramids. It's not a shape we've ever had before, <laughs> or we're cool. expecting to get again. But we found them enough for the box and. I thought that'd be really pairing. fun. Yeah. Why not? So I'm going to keep, still start to sort our colors over here. And then we have brought some, some laser etched beads back to the box. I think we've done this just once before. Yeah. Um, we did it in our Alice in Wonderland box. It's a really nice way to bring in some beautiful motifs and imagery. So everyone gets one seahorse rectangle and one turtle, but the colors are going to vary. These ones are both the AB style. Some people have some vitriol on theirs as well. So oh, that's cool. A really cool mix. Um, so yeah, these are the laser etched seahorse and turtles. It's a two, it's like two a little, mixed like, pieces. Look, fun pick. See which one yeah. you get. Oh, I love these beads. I'm so <laughs> this felt so nice. We were really yeah. I really wanted a seahorse in the box. I don't yeah. think I saw seahorses there, but like I just oh, thought... I, th I think I remember underwater. This. You saw seahorses. Seahorses swim underwater. Yeah, but like, yeah, I only, they kind of like I, my they like only imagery around. is seeing them in in a aquarium. aquarium. Like I don't think I've seen one in the wild. I have to think back. I feel like I saw them because to me they're like they're like very small. They range. Yeah, There's... I guess they range. I don't know. Okay. I, in my in my, my fan, memories, in my fantasy memory, <laughs> um, we definitely saw seahorses. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. We saw actually every species. <laughs> I mean, we saw a lot of fish. We, we saw, and we saw we turtles. Saw Nemo we saw himself. sea turtles. Nemo, yes, we and definitely Dory. saw lots of Nemos. <laughs> Look at that mix. Uh, this is Czech glass Preciosa of peanuts and silver lined ocean mix. So bringing our greens and our blues and a little crystal together. We love peanuts over here. They fit together perfectly. You saw a mermaid also, right? Yeah, I actually I swam <laughs> with a mermaid. We sang together. <laughs> look at oh. this. Look at these fish. <laughs> I was I was telling her about the bead box we were gonna make in ten years with it. <laughs> oh. 
We have not seen the new Little Mermaid yet. Y'all. I know. We need to get on it. So who's who's seen the new Little Mermaid what yet? What do you think? What are what are folks? Is it like? worth seeing? We love the music. I mean, I I love the music. To the Little Mermaid. Be careful. Be careful there. <laughs> oh, copyright. Yeah. <laughs> well, talking about seeing all the fish, we've got some fishies swimming in our coral reef. I don't know if those can fit all in there. Well, there's too many. We put too many. <laughs> yeah. We got to put no beads in the next box. <laughs> <sighs> all right. Here's our little fishies. And these are another uh, mixed collection of folks are getting different shades of blue. This one I think is sapphire and aqua. Some people got like a light and a dark sapphire. Um, beautiful. But a beautiful mix of blue tones with AB finishes as well. Because that the AB, like that shimmery quality, just that's like what I feel like just gives me the feel of like the moving water and mm -hmm. how the sun reflects. And yeah, so they're. The AB really works, that finish. I love AB. This is, that's one, yeah, there's a lot of AB throughout this box. Yo, none of the, like, this is probably, like, the simplest bead being just sapphire, but, like, you look at most beads and they have multiple things going on. Yeah, Like, that's cool. kind of how we came up with this box. We have not had crackle glass, I think, since the last July box. We did those yeah, crackle last rounds. Summer, yeah. And Rachel came up with this mix of... Yeah, they're 9 by 12 millimeter ovals. <laughs> Look at all my light down here. <laughs> we'll figure this out for next time. So, it's just the angle of my lights. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> but then I come over here. It's yeah, when you're going 100% vertical. Oh. We got at least that. <laughs> We're trying. Just to be like, y'all are silly. Come on, let's go. All right. Yeah, so this is a mix of four different colors. Lovely tones. And that crackle glass is so unique. I'm can... obsessed with how this mix came out. Like, mm -hmm. it's one of my favorites, actually. Yeah, I think it's very sophisticated. And you could sort of like, kind of see how we pulled out the main tones of the box in yeah. that mix. Like, for being very colorful, we still hope it blends well in your in your designs. Mm -hmm. But, like, it doesn't... It, I don't think it'll feel high contrast, even though there's so many colors. Hmm. Like, it'll kind of... Itself it'll become... blend, Yeah. All right, we bring in some more of our focals. This is with a little lamp work collection of puff coins. We have some 16 and some 20 millimeter ones. Um, and this is another um, mixed pieces. So in this case, this is the blue zircon uh, and lavender amethyst. Some folks have one that's like all blue zircon with these cool stripes on it. So there's a, there's a couple variations. These came out so cool. Yeah, they're very pretty. I love that, that like metallic kind of foil glass inside of them. Big one. I love that big lentil there. It has such a nice shine to it. Mm -hmm. So cool. So that definitely has to be the centerpiece of somebody's piece. I know. And and well, we'd like we thought it'd be fun to be able to do matching earrings to it. That's why you yeah. have the two, yeah. the pair with it. Oh my gosh, new shape alert. <laughs> yep. ring, the, ring the cowbell. We got bill brios. Don't they look like <laughs> a little bill? <laughs> What are you looking for? I always, you know, I'm ever trying to locate my one single headphone, but I have a whole drawer of headphones, so why don't I just use that? That would work. Here. Yeah, so these are top drilled, um, and this is another mixed collection, so every folks are all getting different colors. I think this is a good representation of some of the colors you might see if, you, if you've got the box. Uh, but we're calling it our underwater glow mix. So it kind of, they all have basically different specialty finishes, so everyone yeah. got different specialty finishes. Here's some examples of kind of the main ones. I think there's even like a, a few purple ones in some people's. So you got like the mixed glass one. You have this. It's like metallic amethyst. Those those first two that we just went over are the ones I think we have extra in the shop of. Which ones? The two you just went two over. Two here. Yeah. And then you have this beautiful pink stone finish. And then there's, this is actually like a multi-tone. Multi yeah, with the greens and the we blues. We try to give everyone at least a little bit of the multi-tone. Because there's like a blue, blue green one and there's like a pink purple one i think mm -hmm. and also just like look how fun like in thematic that shape is yeah like, that'll be super super just cute dance how they hang all right some more of our greens we did green opal and drooks yeah we're kind of entering our <clears> green so the greens are like yeah the seaweed um that's part of part of the ocean so these are six millimeter green opal rounds you get about 30 pieces it's not my hat blocking light. If I'm down <laughs> here, it's fine. I just can't get into the shadow of the phone itself. Yeah. 
We'll work on it. Don't worry, folks. It's because our lights are above the camera, I think. Yeah. I have a fill-in light behind me, but maybe it's <laughs> just not strong enough today. Yeah. I, I think at night we have less less notice. <laughs> Whatever. It's all right. Let's move on. It is what it is. Um, we just care very much. We want <laughs> the, the full experience to be good for all so of yeah, you. Yeah, these are just some simple drugs to... But they still have that opalescent just simple. simple. This they're is simple, but green they're opal glass. I know it's opalescent, but it'll it'll just blend. Give a nice <laughs> soft tone. You've to gotten so fancy in. that even green opal. I know those seem so boring now. simple to you now. <laughs> All right, and then we have our last. Oh no, not our last animal. What do I say? Our last check glass animal. Maybe some turtles. These are a fan favorite. Again, more of the AB back. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool, like true green turtle as well. Yeah with some white silk mixed in there too. So it's giving it that like, that mixed tone effect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, be yeah mixed use. gloss and AB, like more specialty finishes here. Yeah. And these just shine. I'm gonna put these over here. These I love just... how this tray is, our little canvas is looking. And then some of our greens. Lovely. And then we found a new leaf shape. These are um, eight millimeter leaves. They have this kind of like three petal. They really remind me both of seaweed. They also remind me of like lily pads, which are obviously not like deep underwater, but like, I don't know. They just Or in really coral reefs, but like. No, but just, I don't know. They reminded me of seaweed, of lily pads, of just, you know, the nature connected to the water. Yeah. And, and we just, you know, we just love cool check shapes. So this yeah. felt like a perfect Something opportunity. Different. And again, we have AB and this, this cool specialty um, green coating as well. And so really you, have, you get a nice variety in this box even within each shape mm -hmm. yeah a lot of multi and... multi-colors um and then our last bead would be a little toho cb2 these are the 11 size they are silver line crystal it's about eight grams a little bit of sparkle from that silver oh, lining. These are so perfect yeah so this just becomes like a bajillion spacers. Yeah, it's kind of your, it's box. your silver metallic spacer because silver was our uh, metallic tone to pair with this box. Um, and there's more. Oh my gosh! This, well, now we this, have our... There's a lot in this box. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have our little metals collection. Oh my gosh! I'm obsessed. So yeah, these were all made in Greece, and we, we have this whole little collection. So our large piece would be the seahorse pendant, 23 by 41 this millimeters. This is so cool. I love just like the sort of filigree detailing of it. It looks like a really friendly seahorse. Yeah. <laughs> like, so like the ones that you befriended yeah, underwater. Like, like you could have a morning chat with this seahorse. <laughs> <laughs> like he looks, he looks like um, you could go up to him and ask him how his day's going. <laughs> And then we have two starfish charms. They're really nice. I love, yeah, I love like sort of the organic feel that these have. They're not so like, they're not so, I don't know. They're not so angular. They have just some softness to the design yeah. and some the, texture. They feel very alive. Yeah, it's a very unique kind of bale to them. The bee, the bale is like basically a bead itself. Yeah. So when you string, like say you like put it as part of a string, it could, this could be the center of a necklace. Like mm -hmm. it's like a smaller pendant, but like imagine a whole string of, I'm just kind of seeing some. Or you could put a thicker, like you could put a one millimeter cord, no, two millimeter cord, yeah. I think, yeah. of leather through that if you wanted to. It'd be perfect. Gives you some options. And then we wanted, we had, we had, we wanted like even more charms. So we were able to get yes, another two, earring pair. Yeah, two spire shell charms, four by 16 millimeters. So those are just a great, like, little dangle, I feel like, for the end of some earrings, but that still are thematic with our design. And then if, but if you could also. Um, make a unicorn horn with them. <laughs> Why not? Go, that goes with pride, right? Yeah. <laughs> you, make a rain you can make a rainbow unicorn probably with this box if you wanted to. You probably could. It's a very colorful box. <laughs> yeah. That was one of our first ideas of the box. We just knew we wanted lots of color. Yeah, it's the summer. It's the season for it. And in a sophisticated way. Oh my Fun goodness. Way. That is below the waves. Do you guys feel, do you feel it? Have we gone, have we immersed ourselves under the water? I, I feel like now I'm finally the... seeing summer. Yeah. Like I'm feeling summer. Oh, it's... Sherry's first box and she loves it. Oh I'm my so gosh. Glad. Yeah. Also a huge thank you. We have lots of new for first time bead box subscribers. Yeah. Cause we opened up some new slots over the last couple months. And so this, we had a lot of new people this for this month. Just so cool. So it's really special to hear from some of the first time subscribers. So welcome to the Sam's Beadbox family. 
I hope you'll stick with us because we really just try to make something exciting for you every month. We already have at least two more collaborations scheduled for the rest in the remainder of the year. Yeah, with some really talented jewelry designers who have such an eye for design. We've already done two and we have two more. Yeah. And then the remainder of the months are curated by Rachel and I. Yeah. We, we're involved in all of them. Yeah. But it's fun to get to bring in another designer. Um, if you guys are going to really like July, but before we even get to July, what are your favorites in, in this June? box? Wow. I love I just, like how everything fits together. Um, I think I really love the art deco ovals. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that will be a really, I really want to like use that for some earrings, dangle some things down from that. Um, I was, I've been eyeing these two tone fuchsia purple mm -hmm. drops and yeah. fire polish. Like how fun is that? And then I think the mermaid glass, cause that, when that arrived here, mm -hmm. I like kind of fell over cause it was just the way that it reflects the light. Yeah, we get a lot of bruises over here. <laughs> We're falling over. <laughs> oh. There's a lot of chatter in the shop. Every time we see a bead, we really like, everyone just starts talking oh, about yeah, the bead. Yeah. Whenever I, like a bead box item arrives and I'm obsessed with it, I show it to everyone. I'm like, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Look at this, guys. <laughs> and sometimes Rachel, like, I, wait, things will come in and like, I won't know that it's come in. And then I'll like walk by its shelf. <laughs> and see like a few more B-Box items had arrived and like, it's so fun. Yeah, so we actually, we were able to get some extras of this like custom mixed strand. So that is also, if you head to the Sam's Beach Shop website or app, you'll be able to find extras of all of these items. Yeah, so theoretically if I have my phone for. nearby, but who knows where that is. <laughs> um, but if you download the Sam's Beach Shop app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store, you can already find, oh, that's not gonna work you can find um, individual extras for sale, as well as the full box. We sell the extra box for yeah. $65. Yeah, if, if you, you want everything. If you were to buy one of each, it would be 89 the full retail, the box that we were talking and about. And we also, oftentimes, some of the extras are more like our misfits or less... They're marked as such. Yeah, yeah, they're marked, sorry. You'll see certain ones that say, like, these are our extras, our misfits from the box. Like, we always should use the best quality in the box. So if you get an extra box, you're getting our, the favorite beads. Yeah, yeah. Most of the items are... Totally normal, the same. Yeah, yeah. There's just There's... a few that are on a special deal. So if you see the word misfits, then you know it's the ones that you get a deal on. Yeah. Um, we have more to show you. Yeah, we have some things to pair with this month's box. So for, you know, I was got to have my seed beads. Mm -hmm. And this month is all about Miyuki. I like, well, you know, I like a seed bead spacer. So yeah. it works So we out. have um, Miyuki 11 rounds custom mix. It has actually six colors in here. And to me... I like feel like I'm underwater. I, this one like really makes me feel like I'm in an aquarium yep. with all of these colors. Um, uh -oh. I love how that orange just like pops among the blues and this the purple. Is so yes, I know it's such a big tube. Um, I think it's a five inch tube. I think it's about twenty two grams. So these are Miyuki round in eleven. Oh yeah, is our seed bead for this. So one. like I feel like so obviously like. Like this is great for like a, a pattern where you're just gonna use like you can let it be random like you know you make a peyote stitch bracelet you make a tassel mm -hmm. some fringe you can like let it be random you can make a design where you're like making stripes and like choosing certain colors because you're getting a lot of every color um but it's also orange great and for, blues you know, and purple things. this is gorgeous yeah and miyuki makes really high quality very consistent round beads oh my gosh this is super doesn't fun. it doesn't match pretty it's, good match it's really nice it pulls out a lot of the key colors here yeah and then, of course, you still have your crystal clear that came yeah. with the box to go with all your AB, crystal AB items as well. Mm -hmm. um, and these, and the Toho 11Os are a little bigger than Miyuki 11, so you're getting some size, some size options there. And then we have our gorgeous Softflex trio. This Look month, like this. in particular, I feel like came out really it's good. It's really nice. Yeah, those two blue colors, the turquoise, the blue lapis. I love like the light and the dark together. Mm -hmm. And then we have that that amethyst in the middle. Gorgeous. You see that match? like with our fishies <laughs> so perfect so yeah sam already took um one of these trios for himself yeah because he's like my, i i need this for i need more blues in my life yeah blues and then i want the purple because i need to make a piece of the purple blue. i know these are just such well-loved colors in general these yeah. are great soft flex colors They're, this is all their medium size stringy wire it's a great versatile size that it should work with i think every be the box the only one you'll have experience with is these guys depending on how big their hole is Usually it usually fits on medium and then some holes won't. Yeah. Um, sometimes 
those are better on like a fine soft flex. You never want to force a bead because it'll add tension. And then we custom designed Silver Silk with Miele, the owner of Silver Silk and more. Um, and Silver Silk is a really cool product. Um, it's actually a few different lines of products, but it's all about knitting wire together to make these incredible chains that you can use to enhance your pieces. So we made these custom colors to match the box. So this one is oh, so beautiful and vibrant. It is a purple tube with a baby blue, kind of metallic light blue wire. Y'all, this is wire. blue. This is blue. It's so <laughs> cool. It, be, it ends up becoming like holographic on yeah. the purple. This is one of the coolest pipe chains we've start, we've ever made. Yeah. You kind of have to see it in person to see it. It has like this mermaid glow to it. Mm -hmm. So grab a, a you, you get this custom three foot spool. Yeah, three feet of it. Custom so great. done for the shop by mm -hmm. with by it's, Nile. Yeah, right. Only, only here. It's so cool. Yeah, that one's my favorite. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cool. We may have some um, some things in the works <laughs> that we'll get to tell you about that to go along with Pipe Chain in the future. Pretty soon. Um, in the meantime, if you'd like some findings for them, check out Miele Sells Findings by the Pair to go with the Pipe Chain. Or you can do some like custom uh, kind of wire yeah, wrap. You can wire wrap it. You can use like a uh, bead cap. Yeah, bead, bead or a bead cap, like metal bead cap. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. we wanted another pipe chain. <laughs> so that was our, that was like our purple one that we covered in blue. So then I was like, what if we make a blue one? Mm -hmm. So you have a lighter baby blue tube with a darker blue on top. So kind of the, put the, kind of the flip flops, kind of the, the lighter color within the darker on top. Um, and it gave a really cool effect. It gave like this inner glow by having that light blue on the inside. How nice it is all together. Yeah. And if I'm going to add some contrast, what contrast would I add here? You got some fuchsia. I love blue and fuchsia. Oh like, I think you got to add some of that fuchsia that you love. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. The purple goes nicely with that dark blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these pipe chains are really special this month. They really, like, have movement to them. We really were kind of, <laughs> we were pushing the boundaries a little bit of what could work for pipe chain. Yeah. And I think... Neil, us and Neil were surprised. Well, the blue on the purple, he was like, "Are we sure we want to do it?" Not, like I think he yeah. said that to him. He mentioned that he was like a little unsure of our choice, but we're so. And happy. then once we actually actually knits this stuff, he then we get a text from him. He's like, "Oh my gosh!" You're like, "What?" <laughs> Neil gets very excited. He does. I know he loves how like we we're helping him like come up with all these new combos. <laughs> And then we also have two flat mesh collections. This is a wire ribbon that gives lots of flow. Um, it's a great chain for a piece as well as you can kind of wrap it around beads. There's so many cool ways to use yeah, it. Yeah, you can, yeah, literally. I've seen people just make the <laughs> so coolest- So many creative ideas. Earrings, just yes. like that. So we sell an end cap, a TRKS end cap mm -hmm. that fits nicely in these. Just fold it over, take this end, fold and it over, fold it yeah, over just, just a little, little bit. Little it makes thicker. that thicker, and then it fills the end cap really nicely. Yeah. So we really wanted that orange. We had to have our yeah. our perfect orange. And it's a really beautiful tone. And this is, yeah, this is not your everyday orange mm -hmm. here. This is like you're heading towards like bright copper orange. Yeah. So it has like this perfect warmth to it. And it looks so... Yeah, it's an orange heading towards like a metallic neutral. Oh, that's a great So match. like, here's how it looks. If you <laughs> grab your orange juice in the box... Those are going to be a good match. But then you can add some contrast as well. So that's just, you see, I start with one tone, and then like, then are you going to mix in some like Krista elements? Yeah. What, what what direction we want to do is so, ooh, oh, these two. Yeah. Oh, I got already. Bring some of those earthy tones. You could potentially wrap I'd this I'd bring some green in too, honestly. Okay. Like the ooh, green turtles that, look at, or look the at, green opals. Look yeah. at that green opal there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, and of course, I wanted to bring in green because we paired it. In this one, you're getting two colors. You're also getting the seafoam green with it. Oh, wow. That's such a nice tone. Yeah, nice soft green. It goes really with that, goes well with that, the, the green opal. What do you, oh, that, put this with the labradorite. Okay. That too, but I just think that'll look really oh, good with that's the labradorite. Fun. It's like, because it picks up that color from the flash. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I really like that. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do here. <laughs> I also like this like burgundy. I love, mm -hmm. I love putting green with yeah, burgundy. Yeah, that kind of dirt, that deeper purple oh, oh my god we're making all these little mini palettes i love it usually you can make like four or five mini palettes from every bead box yeah um so that's a combo you get two and a half feet of each for five feet total 
And yeah, because usually from Eli, what, you get five feet of, of one, one color. color. So we like to do some of these custom mix packs. And I believe the, at least the orange is I one. I think he has that one available right now. It's so cool. Um, and then we did want to do one classic of uh, five feet of silver. Um, a great like staple to have. And it goes so well with these colors. I mean, I love silver with blue. The suppleness of this. So it's made with 32 gauge wire that's knitted together. It actually starts in tube form and then he rolls it to turn it into flat mesh. And you can think of it like chain, really mm -hmm. strong chain. And so it, it really flows just like kind of the waves mm -hmm. and just the natural, I think it's just like how leaves underwater just kind of like ebb back and forth, like it has that, that, that effect to it. Yeah. And so that, that, that'd be nice with some of our crystal elements, but also just anything will go beautifully with silver. So we've got seed beads, we've got soft legs, two different pipe chains these two pipe chains the flat meshes come together and you get silver flat mesh lost use from as well as the individual extras or you get an entire box yeah there's lots to play with here and like so it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun design month as we head into um as we head into summer yeah i'm summer. really excited to see what everyone has started making you know some folks have had their box for like almost a week now mm -hmm. um we're excited, excited to start playing around. We started been brainstorming. I really want to do some sort of like thinking about like some sort of tassel using the Miyuki round with like another bead on top. I don't know. There's I've got lots of ideas. I just want to wear all the labs in the world. Yeah, <laughs> I know those They're are. So I cool. think everyone's gonna use up their labs right away. We have extra lab strands mm -hmm. and that um, nice shorter length. They're like less than ten bucks a strand if you want to go wow. grab one. Yeah. Wow. That's the power of these our new mini strands at Sam's mm -hmm. Bead Box, Sam's Bead Shop. Um. Other thing I wanted to mention is now that we actually have some new spots open, it's a great chance to kind of invite your friends and family that also bead into the Sam's Bee Box family. So you could consider gifting a box if you go to samsbeadbox.com. There's actually a gift function, mm. and you can just buy them one box if you want. So if you do it now, say it's June 16th, if you do it anytime in June, beginning of July, um, before we ship the we ship the July box around the 9th or 10th. As long as you do it before then, you'll send them the July box, which is absolutely amazing. And they'll get to experience Sam's bead box and then maybe they'll want to join as well. Um, so definitely like would it would mean help us out so much as a small shop to um, get to welcome some new folks into our bead box family. Like I think it's pretty cool what cool how it comes out each month. And I love that so many people are getting these same beads, but then you see how people take it in so many mm. different directions of their jewelry. I think it can really inspire you to see how like sub so you get to see so many examples of how you use these beads in mm -hmm. Gem Chat. Mm -hmm. It's it's Gem Chat's the place to be if you really like just like you like you have your box like okay where do I get started? Mm -hmm. I love seeing what you guys make. It gets me inspired. Then I'll make something else. It just like it's yeah. it's really cool to see that. And we'll start featuring some of your designs on. The website. I have to fix the submission link to submit your pieces. Oh, okay. Like it broke a couple weeks ago, um, but check back like in the next couple of days, and you can start submitting your pieces. In the meantime, submit to Gem Chat, and then on the website you'll be able to officially submit it for feature in our emails and whatnot, um, and the website. So that is under the sea, folks. <sighs> Below the waves. We we may have been calling it under the sea <laughs> to each other for a while. So they were like, maybe we need a different name. <laughs> and below the and below is actually is a is a more specific way to say what we're trying to get at yeah. here, which is all about discovering like what is so beautiful. And we were really inspired when by you peak below the water. Yeah, I mean, we were really inspired by the natural world and the natural elements. Um, nothing, nothing imaginary here. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, any last questions? Shout out, out, shout out in the comments. Um, Sue, we met Candy in Tucson. Well, I would love to do. Maybe when we're in Tucson next year, we can do something with her. She's yeah, super chat cool. with her about the box. Um, she's. I love her. Her love of stone. She's a fellow lover of gemstones. Let's see. I think Jesse's covered a lot of the com questions, and I think we're good to go. So everyone. If you're needing extras, we've got you covered. Go to the app, go to samsbeadshop.com. Um, I still need to send out the monthly coupon to our B-Box oh, subscribers. Yeah. I usually end up sending it with the B-Box celebration email. Mm -hmm. So that sale is on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. We have 
other fun things to go either that pair nicely color wise the box or favorite shapes in other colors. So lots to look forward to on Tuesday. And that's also when I'll send out the, the coupon code. Usually I give like something around 10 bucks off a purchase at Sam's Bead Shop. Just it's a for pretty being... nice perk of being a subscriber. Mm -hmm. I, I, we try to make it extra good for you all. Yeah, getting even more value. $10 of free beads. So everyone have a lovely weekend and we'll see you early next week for uh, we start playing with this box. We'll be live with Sarah Tuesday mm -hmm. morning. Yeah, she's, she's already, already made a gorgeous piece. Really cool. She's also made more for herself that we haven't even seen I yet. Know, I'm excited I'm so to see. Excited. She made a bracelet. She's saying this is one of her favorites. She said this is like her, na <laughs> her new, her her new, new top, top. for you. I mean, look at all this bounty here. I'm very yeah. excited. So we hope this box inspires you. Thank you for supporting Sam's Bead Box. And it's just such a treat to get to do this with all of you each month. So get ex start getting ex making with this month. So then you're ready. Come July for our next theme. We yeah. we try we're going to keep bringing you amazing themes for throughout the rest of the year. We, we have it all mapped out. And we're so yeah. excited. Um, and the collaborations are coming very, very soon. We'll probably start sneaking hints about when those are coming. Yeah. They're, they're going to start coming pretty soon. <laughs> um, everyone, have a lovely rest of your weekend. Bye, y'all.